Okay, welcome back sa huling bahagi ng Kalibre 41. Kausap pa rin natin si Bishop Iniguez, Congressman Goles at Dr. Del Rosario. Ngayon, nasa linya ng telepono si Senador Pia Cayetano. Senador Cayetano, magandang gabi and welcome ng Kalibre sa Kalibre 41 pa. Good evening po, sa inyong lahat. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Senator Cayetano, pabor ba kayo sa protection of the unborn child act? Well, pabor talaga tayo sa protection of the unborn child, no? Yeah. Um, but with respect to the bill itself that yeah. uh, hiniling po natin, meron talaga po mga provision doon na maganda po dahil talagang nabibigyan ng protection ang unborn. Yeah. But you have to take it into consideration kung ano na pa yung ibang trabaho na nagawa ng Senado, no? Yes. And in, our, in, in the case of the Senate, I also chair the Committee on Health kung saan isang taon na namin tinatrabaho yung reproductive health bill. And in fact, many of the concerns raised during the hearing of the Uh, rights of the unborn child were yes. taken up already in our committee reports on reproductive health. So I think um, the concerns raised are, are um, addressed. Kasi po, um, explain ko lang no, na ang naiintindihan natin na gusto nilang ma-achieve is yeah. that ma-ban po ang mga abortifacients. No? Mm -hmm. Now, one of the contentious issues is merong nag-equate ng lahat ng klaseng uh, artificial contraceptives with abortifacients. Yes. Well, mali naman po yun because Not all contraceptives are abortive fashion. Okay. However, if in fact abortive fashion ang isang class in contraceptives, then very clear naman po sa ating batas na bawal yan, and the FDA should not be approving it. And I okay. don't think anyone can rightfully support that. Okay. So, so we do, have do already I... covered that in yeah. our um, reproductive health bill, and there is no need for a separate bill to cover that issue. Okay. Senator, do I take it therefore that you support the RH bill or you are against it? Oh, I will be issuing my committee report uh, for a reproductive health bill very soon. Ah, for pa sila? Okay, thank you very much, Senator Cayetano. Okay po. Salamat po. Okay, June ang Imus Kabita, let the separation of church and state prevail, let the RH bill be passed, then the church has monitored its members and imposed excommunication on offenders of its doctrine. What do you think, Bishop? Well, uh... Itong separation and church and state, I think yeah. we have to understand that in the right way. No? Yeah. And now, uh, since this uh, particular bill is uh, very, very much anchored on moral principles yeah. and moral practices, yeah. uh, we cannot speak here of a separation. Oh, so so in other matters, po, ang, ang, ang sakay po kayo dyan? May mga bagay na talagang we have our own domain, no? yeah. the state and the church. What do you think? Alam niyo yung separation of church and state? na nami-misunderstand ng marami. Akala yeah, yeah. na, pag sinabi separation of church and state, hindi pwede makialam ang church and state, ang state hindi pwede makialam sa church. It is the other way around. Mm -hmm. Yan ang Jeffersonian principle embodied in the U.S. Constitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nakalagay sa sabi ni Jefferson, ang state cannot force uh, uh, the religion uh, on the people kasi yan ang parang rebellion na against uh, the king of uh, England eh, yeah. na nag-impose ang religion. So, It's not the other way around. Yung, okay. yung church, pwede makialam sa estado, pero estado, hindi pwede makialam sa simbahan. Okay. Karen Umani ng Bulacan says, Paano po masasabing sacred ang kasal at pagsasama kung wala ng love na namamagitan sa mag-asawa? Tulad ko po, na wala na pagmamahal sa asawa ko dahil lagi niya akong binubugbog hanggang sa na nakipagwalay na ako sa kanya. Nakipagwalay na pala siya kanya. So, kung binubugbog, dapat kinasuhan niya yung uh, tao, no? Baka umabuso dahil Pinabayaan niya. Pinabayaan. Oo. Oh, at uh, siguro na sa upbringing niya. Kaya siyempre, we have to also address the society. No, but to on, make it really reprehensible. On a matter of abuse, on a matter of abuse, can a, can, can a wife remain in a loveless marriage? Wala na lang pagmamahal eh. Mahira po eh. Pero yung sinasabi niya, uh, palagay ko, we should pick up on that. Yeah. Na talagang pag wala ng pagmamahalan, yung wala meaning na. ng marriage, nagiging nawawala rin. Kaya, yeah. But ang mga mag-aasawa, dapat they understand what is love. Yes. And they commit to what really what so, love is. So, when, when the Bible says, whatever God has put together, let no man put asunder, wala ho, ibig sabihin niya? Walang pan. Walang? Yung tunay na bond ng marriage, yes. talagang uh, indissoluble. Okay. Jojo na Marcelo ng Laguna, tinatanong ko niya, dapat talaga pag-isipan ng mga parents ang capacity nila kung ilang anak ang kaya nila. Kawawa ang bata. Well, yan ang essence ng responsible, responsible parenthood. No? Yes. Uh, I believe in that. But, yung kasi iba akala nila, pag sinabi responsible parenthood, kailangan ko konti ang anak. Mm -hmm. but, but, pero sa akin pa na, 
posible na yung mga kukunti anak baka sila pang irresponsible dahil ayaw nila ng responsibility uh-huh. yeah. o kaya ayaw nila ng anak dahil ayaw nila ng responsibility. Okay. Samantalang iba na marami anak pero kahit na mahirap, naalagaan nila yung pamilya at uh, nakaraos sila at naging maganda ng mga resulta. Yeah. Yun ang mga responsable. Whatever the reason, oh. it should be left to both yes. couples uh, yeah. to decide. Yeah. Uh, Whether it's uh, one child or, or two, six or twelve, Uh, yeah. Paano yeah. naman po yung hindi na bibigyan ng choice? Let's say for example, the husband comes back, he's, o, he's an OFW, yeah. and he will insist. Tapos mabubuntis ang po. Paano po yun? Oh. Napaka-irresponsable naman nila? Yeah, um, very irresponsible yeah. talaga. Irresponsible. Yeah. Kanya, that is part of the RS bill also, eh, oh, because of gender protection of the woman. Okay. Yeah. Bong nang sama, tinatong po niya, sana simbahan na nagpapatakbo ng lahat ng eskwelahan bilang kagawa, kawang gawa sa mga mahihirap. Pero para silang paang mahal sumingil, parang, parang sila paang mahal sumingil, katulad ng Ateneo at Lasal. Bakit mahal mo magsingil ng Ateneo at Lasal? Ateneo. Lasal. Hindi ang Dio Lasal, okay. Public school po ako. Pa, paano po? You know, practical ko niya, no? practical uh, considerations. Yeah. Pero marami rin mga Catholic schools no? na, na nagbibigay ng favor dun sa mga talagang hindi makayala ng pag-aaral. Tama. Nabisa ko ito ko dyan. Ano po? <laughs> yung, yung, yung mga simbahang katoliko, may kita mo, iba rin yung facilities nila. Yes, yes, yes. Sports yes. facilities nila, yung library nila, yung sweldo sa mga teachers, yung mga iba, aircon yung mga classroom. So hindi mo pwedeng ihamping yung dalawa. Tama, tama. Okay. At that is the asks, may karapatan po ba ang simbahan sa batas kung hindi sila nagbabayad ng tax? Ang mga mamamayan mama mama natin, <laughs> nagbabayad ng tax. <laughs> okay. Pero bagamat ang simbahan mismo, may some privileges. Yeah. Na, uh, for the sake of the common good, hindi sila nagbabayad. Accepted okay. by law. So yan tatanong kay, Sen- kay Congressman Gores. Francis ng Batangas po nagtatanong, kapag sinampal ho ba ang asawa, matatawag na ba ito pang pangbubugbog agad? Sa akin, palanakit, eh, abuso na yan. Oo, abuso na yan. Bakit po sila sampal sila ng asawa nila? Bakit po? Hindi man din naman, hindi naman pwede yata. Sino ba nagtanong? Balalaki ba o babae? Babae, babae nagtanong. RPG, Nanggapan City, ano ba tanong niya? Siguro po, maganda na, ipaubaya na lang sa tao kung sino ang may gusto at may ayaw ng reproductive health bill. Hindi po ba yun ang tao? That's democracy. That's democracy. Well, ako, kaya ko mag-referendum. Mag-referendum? Para kasi pag, pag uh, tinatalaki lang sa mga sulok-sulok, yes. hindi talaga naintindi ng tao kung anong nilalaman. Yeah, tama yun. So, ako, kaya ko mag-referendum. At i-debate ito sa mga mga puruk-puruk, sa mga sagigan, sa mga barbershop, at uh, saan lugar. Okay. Para malaman na lahat. Pete and the Pod, do you think media has been balanced in the news reporting of the side of those against the RH bill? Uh, 